Okay, and tonight, for the first night of the week, it's actually, what, Tuesday night? So, we're out here in the patch, and who do I have with me? Kate! Elsie. Kate. <laughs> who? Elsie. Not Kate, right? No, and you got the goodies tonight, right? Give it a shake. Shake it up good. He, she said that you saw your sister doing this, so she thinks she knows how to do it. This is a job that Elsie has never done before. So do you think you can do it? Yeah. Okay. Let's give him a little spray down. And let's go see how much we've grown in a few days. So there we go. There's Pinky. It's been cloudy and cool, so the plants aren't growing as fast but we're still getting good growth. The vine stretching out there, we're probably on, on the, about the eight and a half, nine foot mark right now. So we keep getting bigger and bigger. No signs of pumpkins just yet. And this one here, once again, is the 1990 Marenser. Look at that girl do her work. All right, we're gonna walk over and look how much the other one grew, Elsie. You're gonna have to come back and do that in a little bit, okay? Okay, she's she's hard at work. She likes her job, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, come this way. Go this way. Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful. She steps off to the side. It's like I got my kids trained, right, Elsie? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go look at the 2304 Gettys. And here it is. It's actually starting to really pick up the pace. It doesn't like the heat as well as the 1990 Marenser. So when it was sunny for a few days, it kind of got a little sunburned on it. So it definitely doesn't take to the sun as well as the Marenser does, but eh, that little bit isn't gonna hurt anything. Anyways, here's how much she grew. There's the mark right there. And there we are here. This one is definitely stretched out more this week. So, it's liking it a little bit better. What do you think, boy? Yeah, they're really growing. They're growing. Should be another good week, right? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll catch you guys here after a bit. Yep. Hey, where are you going? Right <laughs> All right, so what are we doing? Um, we're checking up on the pumpkins. That's right. It's been a few days again. You can see there's Pinky right there. It's been cloudy. So, generally speaking, they don't grow as fast on cloudy days, right? Cloudy, cool, they don't grow as good. But as you can see, there are a ton of side vines on the 1990 Marenser. They're coming out all over. Right there's old Pinky, we'll move it. Not nearly as quick on the main vine right now as the side vines. The side vines are actually going quicker than the main vine. Still good growth extremely early to have a plant of this size. Basically now, one thing that you don't see on it is a pumpkin, right Phoebe? Yeah. And what do we need? We need a pumpkin. That's right. And the plant is at the stage where if it gets a pumpkin on there now, it's probably gonna be a keeper. I mean, it's big enough now that uh, if it was, if there was a pumpkin say right here on this leaf or here, I'd be pulling it off because it's too close to the inside of there. That's where the crown of the pumpkin is, so it's too close here. But now, anywhere out inside of here, how many leaves are in there? Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, no, five. There's already six per side. And then you can see there's another one there. So one, two, three, four, five, six per side. So, you know, three, four more leaves is where you want your pumpkin to be. So it's probably got three or four leaves inside of the tip there at least. So any pumpkin that comes on it now, it's a keeper. So anyways, let's go check out the other plant. This one here, like we said, all of a sudden, that's how they change. They go from one plant doing good to the other plant doing good. Both of them doing great, but the, uh, 2304 Gettys is now this one here, and you can see where our vine is. And so 
he's just continuing to grow a little bit quicker than the other ones. And all of a sudden, right in here, look at how fast. Remember I said those were slow? Well, there you go. Like I said, the side vines have like taken off. So I think right now a little bit of extra energy is going into the side vines. That's a huge round vine right there for how long it is. Mm -hmm. Yep, you see that, Phoebe? That's a side vine coming off of there. And there's another side vine up closer to the crown. This one here, the two closest to the crown are much better. Another side vine down there. Another side vine in here. Another side vine in here. So you can see the side vines have really started to take off. And there's one like Yep, there's, yep. Oh, there it is. Yep, each one of them, hold up that leaf. There's another one underneath the other, the other one. one. Yep. So there you go, quick look here. It's uh, Friday, we'll probably look again on Sunday to see where we're at, but definitely looking great. See you on Sunday. <laughs> All right, Cade, we are at the end of the week, so it's time to give everybody the final update for the week, right? Yep. Which plant are you standing by? The Marenser. The what Marenser? 1990 Marenser. There you go, 1990 Marenser. And yeah, you can see right here, we wanted to go over our side vines with you. Cade's covering up a couple of them on this side. We got our walking boards that he's on, they're growing underneath. We got two poked out already. There's a third one about ready and a fourth one that started on this side here. And then we got three, four of them on this side too. So a few things to note when you're doing, dealing with your side vines. You can see these are more down to the ground. Back up a little bit, Kate, so we can show them. So tomorrow they'll be ready to cover up that one there. You don't want to mess with them too much when they're up in the air like that because there is a chance of breaking them. This one over here right behind Cade, you can see he's shooting up a lot more. So if you're outside, you got to be careful with that. You probably want to put like something to stake him down with. So you can see him. Yep, he shoots straight up in the air. That one's more towards the ground. So be careful with those ones that are staking, shooting straight up. Don't try to force them either. You got a few days. You can wait three or four days before you actually cover them up before the root shows. So as you guys' this plants catch up, I mean, oh, we're, we're in the heat, so we're a little bit earlier than most people. But as your pet plants catch up, if you're new to burying them, give it just a few days before you do that. Anyways, let's go take a look at old Pinky here, covered up by a leaf. Still, cool days. You know, the I think our uh, main vine at this point has been growing as quickly as the side vines. Our side vines have really been shooting out here. So we're there still, not seeing any sign of our pumpkin here. Whenever that pumpkin shows, we will definitely be pollinating this plant here. It'll be ready for a keeper. If the pumpkin's good shape, good everything, we'll keep that one. So we're getting closer around here. Uh, maybe like uh, 10, 15, probably about two weeks from now, that pumpkin, if it shows up, it'll be ready to pollinate. Same thing here on the 2304 Gettys. Once again, the side vines here have started to shoot out more. The side vines weren't quite as aggressive as the Marenser one, but the main vine's been growing a lot more than the Marenser one. So you can see under here, we got a side vine underneath our boards here. We got two more there. We got one side vine shooting out there, another side vine right there, and another one there. And so we've been starting our process here with covering up all of our leaf nodes. And you can see, how much he's grown here. Move him down. I always stake the main vine. I only, I'm inside, so I only worry about staking the main vine on uh, just because I'm inside. If I was outside, I'd probably be staking all of the side vines, but I don't worry about them. I just don't want to bust my main vine off. You can see more side vines are showing up. So the side vines have really started to take off on these two plants. Looks like we will probably be the last week here without pumpkins, but next week, I think we're gonna be seeing a pumpkin show up right there. Probably next weekend we'll actually be able to see it. So, plants are still looking great. 
green, perfect color. What do you think, bud? They keep on getting bigger and bigger each day. How big are they gonna be? Real big by the time we come back. <laughs>